running I, for uh, Congress. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I think anyone could be here to watch um, this. Oh my God! It's it's Your Honor, Judge Powers. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so as I said, uh, I am nice going to be you. running for uh, Congress, and uh, my. Thoughts on running for Congress are going to be uh, obviously helping out the uh, LSPD and San Andreas State Police. Uh, I'm going to try and decide uh, or bring across to the other members of Parliament if I get voted in, uh, especially with helping out the PD, is getting obviously the max sentence uh, higher up so that we can have more people obviously wanting to fight charges um, and have the uh, Department of Justice being involved in this city because at the moment, the Department of Justice sit there and do absolutely nothing. When an individual gets charged, they basically just say, just give me my charges. They don't want to fight their charge. They don't want to... They don't want to do anything. They just want to accept them. And then pretty much um, say, well, okay, that's it. Um, I'm also going to be trying to help out uh, EMS, get them some uh, better funding. Um, obviously, uh, they don't really get, uh, what, yeah, they get their uh, salary. Um, going to try and see if I can get their salary up, up a bit more. Um, but uh, obviously, at the same time, get the individuals of this city uh, help, ha help as well when it comes to the uh, medical profession. Maybe um, if there are no uh, EMS in the city, uh, see if we can get the um, prices of bandages uh, and all that uh, sort of uh, stuff that they need to fix up their body. Um, Get the price of that bought down instead of it being like twenty thousand dollars a uh, piece. Get it bought down to maybe even say ten thousand or five thousand dollars. I got a question for. Uh, I got a question so, for you. Oh, uh, never what's mind. Question? Okay, so uh, I I actually thought about that. You know, people have not really been fighting their charges. You know, they really just dropped the ball. You know, Do you think yeah, they like they haven't like uh, as I, as I'll say like. Uh, for an example, if you get charged uh, for, say, uh, for, uh, attempted murder of an LEO times six, armed robbery of a bank, um, brandishing a lethal weapon, so, so on and so on, um, you're just going to say, okay, give me the charges. I don't care. Exactly. Like, and... they, and, like, as you know, like, as you're probably aware, in the, um, in the Miranda rights, they it, it states in the Miranda rights you have the right to an attorney if they're if you can afford an attorney. If not, one will be um, the state will provide one. But no one literally says I want an attorney. They all they say is just give me my charges. They don't want to actually have to sit in the jail cell for an extra 20, 20 or thirty minutes. Um, to obviously go, well, okay, um, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. They're just like, oh, okay, give me my charges. Do you think possibly, you know, it could be like their funds or like, you know, I, I don't know how much the average cost is for getting a, you know, a lawyer to fight your charges is. It's not, um, I don't, well, I mean, it's up to, like, hypothetically, the uh, the attorney on how much they want to charge. Like, if it's if it's a if it's a small sort of case where, like, uh, say for an example, the individual is, uh, like, say he pleads guilty or something, the 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 attorney could charge him like, I don't know, uh, ten fifteen k. Yeah, that sounds but like everyone's usual. But paycheck. if it's a if it's a high if, if it's like um as i said if it's like say for an example the um individuals being charged for attempted murder of an leo times six um armed robbery of a bank uh 
brandishing a firearm, all that kind of stuff. Of course, the um, the attorney isn't just going to do do the job for like um, like ten to fifteen k. Of course, he's going to want to obviously charge, say, like uh, maybe uh, like forty to fifty k, because he's obviously going to have to try and um, persuade the officers to uh, drop to maybe drop a few of those charges. So, I mean, it's really up to uh, the attor- the uh, attorney in, that's like in the PD, obviously trying to uh, defend his client. You know, that's actually a super interesting, another also interesting thing you said was with the bandages and all that stuff. You know, I have checked it out when there was no EMS on. And it, the prices are kind of shocking, you know, like. Yeah, and that's why, like, I'm saying when there's no uh, EMS in the city is, of, of course, trying to, um, like, obviously get the um, get the government to uh, down the prices maybe a bit, like, uh, but at the same time, when there's no EMS in the city, some of the, like, just defending uh, the government here, that some of the individuals don't... Um, they don't value their uh, help. They um, like they just go out get hurt, where and then expect EMS to um obviously heal them. But like when there's no EMS in the city, and they've obviously got to go out and buy the bandages, then um, I mean, they've got to pay what, say roughly a hundred thousand. I mean, yeah, depending on the body, you know, usually yeah. it's like every, yeah. each part is like 20K. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. going to possibly, like, uh, help out the civilians of the city as well by um, obviously getting the um, the prices of bandages and, um, like, neck braces and arm braces and leg braces and all that sort of stuff uh, brought down to, uh, like, maybe, I don't know, five ten thousand instead of uh twenty thousand um did you have a question uh gareth yeah i was wondering if like you could do anything about the mechanics pay too because they don't get paid where it's darn i mean like their well, salary i mean yeah i could uh i mean i could work on uh obviously the well i mean Obviously, PD salary, uh, EMS salary. Um, I can even uh, look into the uh, mechanic salary, even um, see, because like, obviously see how much they get, and then like um, see to to a certain degree, like obviously like seeing how much their salary is, and then um, working out maybe I don't know, maybe an extra couple of grand on top um, yeah, of what they actually get. Yeah, because uh, my cousin, he's a mechanic, and he only makes like 14K. Or not 14, hmm. 1400 Yeah, but well, that, uh, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can um, obviously uh, speak to, um, like, obviously the uh, mechanic boss, see what the actual, um, like, uh, what the actual pay rate is at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe week. even um, try and, uh, like, get the uh, salary up to maybe, I don't know, trainees get say 2000 or something yeah yeah I mean, um, he does he does pay him on fridays too i yeah. was just well, i was just wondering about the salary like, part like yeah you're wondering about the, i mean i can obviously i can i'll i'll if i get elected as the as like uh in the congress i'll obviously go through and say well okay um what's the uh mechanic uh salaries and stuff um so of course i'm going to work on the businesses in the city, appreciate not only it, just for it. not only just um, not only just obviously PD and EMS, but yeah, I'll go through and I'll work on every single business. Yeah, I feel like mechanic is a big part of the city. Awesome well, reporters. Yeah, reporters well, too. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I'm gonna go through and work through every single business in the city, and find out what the uh, salaries are and whether they need to be upped or uh, brought down a bit. You know, I actually, that's, this is the first time I've really uh, ever heard of, you know, any Congress runner even talking about business. Glad to like, see something different, you know? 
You definitely, you definitely got my vote, sir. Ooh, this is gonna be a very um, interesting run. I mean, I mean, at the same time, like you gotta, you gotta realize that, um, obviously the businesses, yes, look, mechanics, they, I mean, they, they can sit in the, uh, in the city for hours on end and only getting paid what fourteen hundred every half an hour to an hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean. And they do a lot of work. They get a, a lot of abuse. And in, in the upgrades, um, in the upgrades they do, it comes out of their own pocket as well. So yeah, so like that's what I'm saying. Like um, the the mechanics do need uh, a, a pay rise. Um, I mean, some. I mean, even like the news reporters in the city. Um, like they they bring your news, like whatever's happening around the city. If it's a Say a big court case, or um, oh, yeah. um, even if it's a like small claims case, or uh, like something like, like someone um, that gets charged for something, and uh, like they go to a scene and they're uh, reporting to the city what's actually happening. Um, yeah, yeah. They like obviously they're getting um, they're trying to get the news out there, but. Some of the officers aren't giving them the chance to get the news out there. Yeah. Um, because they obviously get told that they've got to leave the area. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you look at it that way. Um, the, the news reporters need to be out in the city. They can't be just sitting in an office. Exactly, you know, we, um, because, you know, the media is a big part, uh, influential in, you know, society it is, now. It is, it is, so. um, and I mean, that's what I'm saying. I will actually go through and, um, like, speak to, like, obviously go through from, like, say, PD, work out what needs to be upgraded in PD, go through EMS, work, work out what needs to be upgraded there, um, go through the mechanic shop, what needs to be upgraded there, go through, obviously, uh like the news outlets, what needs to be upgraded there, but also like, um, like with the gangs and stuff like that too. Um, like go around and find out what what gangs we've got in the city and um, and work out what they would like to have uh, implemented um, for sure, for sure. as well. Um, just like basically uh, go through the whole city and sort of get some upgrades maybe uh, to obviously each each and every job and each and every gang. So I'm not just signaling, oh, I mean, I mean, signaling out certain areas to start with, but it's obviously going to be a long process. And if I get elected into Congress, then obviously I'm going to have to have my other Congress members uh, agree to disagree. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, like, obviously... Congress might agree with me on the uh, police and EMS and mechanic side of it, but they might not agree with me on the gang side. But I'm going to do everything in my power to uh, to help out every individual in this city. Appreciate not it. just not just uh, the government employees, like not a, not just the like say EMS, police, uh, mechanics, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to obviously work on Weasel News, police, EMS, mechanics, um, like. If there's uh, like business, other businesses around that don't get really, that don't really get heard of, um, obviously try and find out ways that we can implement ways that they can be heard, um, uh, as well as like obviously if um, there's civilians that come in and um, like ask questions about uh, like seeing if something can get out, like uh, like obviously. Um, obviously, like new cars and that, they get that gets added in um, every now and then. Um, but I mean, it's it's going to be a hard a hard run. But I'm up for the task. Um, oh yeah, I'm up to be elected uh, at any time. So if if you want, put the word out. Um, put the, uh, Gary, put the word out to uh, PD uh, that I am running for. Um, Congress, and uh, what I'm wanting to run for Congress, like what I'm wanting to help the PD out with, um, and yeah. Alrighty. So, what's your name again, sir? So, it is 
Justice Shane Powers. All right. Well, this was uh, DJ James with the one of the potential Congress that we will have in Diamond City, and we're out. All right, there we go. That was I actually like pretty it. good. Yeah, I yeah. like it.